right. But I have an example here. What if I was going to, what if I wanted to build a paper airplane? What if I wanted to build a paper airplane? They had all these people, I had these four people come to me and say, or say I had five people come to me and say, I know how to build the best paper airplane. And they're all talking a pretty good game. Like you need to do it this way and it's gonna fly this way and they're throwing out all kinds of theories and all this stuff. And the first guy comes along and he builds, let me pull out my airplanes here. The first guy comes along and he's got an airplane and it's pretty basic, but he thinks that that is the best way to build an airplane. And he says, look, this is how you do it right here. This is how you build an airplane. It's nice, it's sleek, it's simple, it's fast to build. And you know, well, I'm like, okay, well, let's see how it flies, right? Let's see, let's test it out, right? It looks nice, but does it fly? It is an airplane after all. So we try to fly it, not bad. I mean, it glides pretty well, but then you got guy number two that comes along and he says, no, I know the best way to make a paper airplane. And he makes another airplane and he comes up and he says, the reason that my airplane is better is because, and he even throws in some Bible. He says, you know, the reason that my airplane is better is because I added these little, you know, tips up on the wing. Even birds, even birds that God designed have little, you know, flares up on the ends of their wings for them to glide a long way. And I want an airplane that'll glide a long way. And then I added some elevators here to just make sure it'll glide a little bit further. So let's try it. And he throws it. And that definitely flies a little bit better, all right? But then you get a third guy that comes along and he says, no, the problem is that wasn't a good airplane because it wasn't balanced right. It wasn't balanced right. No, those are all good ideas. And he says he's convinced that he has the best way to build an airplane. So you're like, all right, let's see it. And he's like, no, I added the, you know, I got the tips up and he's just, but I balanced the nose a little bit better. I balanced it out. So balance is important when it comes to, and you're like, boy, that sounds pretty good, but let's see it fly. And you want to, you know, this is the example, right? So then we see this one, we see how that flies. And it definitely flies better than the other airplanes. All right, so you're like, all right, I got some examples here. But then you got some guy that comes along off the wall, and he's got a whole new design for an airplane. And he tells you, he's like, hey, you know, I got this airplane. And it's not just, a, it's not a long gliding airplane, but, you know, it does tricks. And this airplane, when you throw it, it'll actually do a little loop-de-loop -loop when you fly it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really believe you. Let's see it. Let's see your example. So we take this airplane, and you see he's got these, I was trying to explain this to the kids today, but he's got the ailerons in the back that are going to make the airplane turn. You say, all right, it sounds pretty good in theory, but how does it actually work? And it does work. <laughs> <laughs> and it hits Brother Leon right in the face. But you're okay, right, brother? You're okay. But then you get somebody that comes along and they said, no, all these things are wrong. I have the best way to build an airplane and I'm, you know, just, I've been building airplanes forever and all this, and this is how you build an airplane. And you're just like, and you're like, what are you talking about? Because you see, all five of those guys, all six of those guys, are like, oh, I can build it way faster than everybody else. Look at this. Well, you see, all six of those guys talked a pretty good game. All six of those people might have used concepts from the Bible to explain how they were doing the things that they were doing. But it's the example that God gives us. And the reason God puts so much emphasis on the example in the Bible is because many times, and I'm going to explain to you a little bit why this is, but many times, and I have preached on this a ton over the years. Many times it is people that are the biggest failures in things that are going to be the first one to try to give you advice. Yeah. 